Congratulations on the purchase of your new Cycle Power Bikes Colt 750. We hope that this video can help make the assembly process even easier so you can get right to your next adventure. First, remove all items from the box except the bike. Among these items, you'll find the bike seat, the battery, a box including a tool kit, the front light, the battery charger, the pedals, and the front wheel spindle. You'll also remove the front and rear baskets, the front fender, and the front tire. Next, remove the bike from the box. The bike can stand up while resting on the front forks. Remove the packing foam covering the folding point of the handlebars. Lift the handlebars to their upright position, then tighten the quick release handle. Stand at the front of the bike and align the handlebars and the front wheel forks. Once aligned, Use an Allen wrench to tighten the two screws just below the folding point of the handlebars. Remove the foam as well as the black protective plastic from the forks. Lower the forks onto the wheel axle and align the brake disc with the brake pad. Remove the nut and spring from the spindle and insert the spindle into the axle. Put the spring and nut back on the spindle and firmly tighten using the quick release handle. Place the front fender on the wheel inside the front fork. Remove the nut from the back of the bolt on the top of the fork and lift the mounting bracket to align with the rear of the front fork. Put the bolt through the fork and the fender mounting bracket and reattach the nut. Tighten with a wrench and Allen wrench. Next, remove the bolts located on each side of the fork. Put them through the fender support brackets and reattach to the side of the fork. If you haven't removed all the protective foam from the bike at this point, go ahead and do so. Remove the pedals from their wrapping and make sure to also remove the washers. Put a washer on each pedal. The right side pedal is indicated by an R on the threaded end of the pedal and an L for the left side pedal. Screw the right side pedal clockwise into the crank arm. Use a wrench to make sure it's fully tightened. When installing the left pedal, take note that this pedal is reverse threaded. A counterclockwise turn tightens this pedal, not loosens. Check that your pedals are tight before each ride. This is a good time to point out that your pedals are also folding pedals. Place the battery in the bike with the groove facing the rear of the bike. Put your key in and turn the bike on. Hit M on the display to turn on the display. Attach the seat and adjust with the quick release handle for desired height. If the seat is not tight, open the release and tighten the nut. Place the cup holder in the desired position, then rotate the quick release handle to attach. If the cup holder is not tight, tighten the screw. Remove the screw set from the baskets. We'll begin with the rear basket. Place the four screws from the attached bag in the basket aligned with the holes in the rear rack. Then put a washer and a nut on the back side of the screws and tighten. Pull the plastic tab out of the rear light to activate. Then turn the light off. The button for the rear light is located on the top of the light. To install the front basket, use a number three screwdriver to remove the four screws from the front of the bike. Place those screws with a washer in the basket and align with the four holes the screws were removed from. 
Tighten the top screws first, then the bottom. Check them all for tightness. The headlight and zip ties are located in the tool bag. Start with the mounting bracket down, take the headlight wires, and attach the red connection to the positive and the black connection to the negative. The positive is indicated by a plus sign, the negative indicated by a dash. Lift the mounting bracket up. Remove the screw and washer from the underside of the front basket. Put the screw and washer through the light mounting bracket back into its hole and tighten. Use the zip ties to secure any extra wiring. In your cycle tool bag, you'll find a utility tool with various different bits and sizes that go with your bike. You can simply Velcro the tool bag onto your basket to guarantee you always have the tool with. Fully charge the battery before your first use. Only use the provided charger for your cycle battery. The charger is designed for use with a 110 outlet. On the Colt models, you can fold the bike at the center of the bike. Just in front of the pedals is a quick release handle. Lift the quick release handle, then move it to the side so it is no longer connected to the front portion of the bike. Lift up on the base of the quick release handle to release the pin. Now you can fold the bike. Your display both gives you valuable information as well as acts as a control panel. In addition to battery life and watt output, you can see your speed, average speed, maximum speed, an odometer, trip distance, and trip time. These are toggled through with the M button. You can turn the headlight on and off by holding the plus button. You also control your pedal assist through the display. There is six pedal assist modes. No pedal assist, eco, city, tour, power, and boost. The bike still has traditional gearing in addition to pedal assist. Turn the lever to shift down and push the button to shift up. On the right handlebar, there's a red button. The red button popped out means the throttle is disengaged and pushing the button in engages the throttle. Either brake being engaged will disengage the throttle. Here is the several tightening points on the bike. Check each tightening point before riding to ensure a safe experience on your new cycle power bike.